What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you being here if you are here. I thought the only way to start is by a good old TLC video, specifically TLC UK, or an even more specifically, Extreme Cheapskates. If you've seen my other videos, you know I absolutely love Extreme Cheapskates. <laughs> it's one of the best to watch because you find some extremely interesting characters. So today the video is called Extreme Cheapskate gives the cheapest gifts for Christmas, which sounds already sounds interesting enough. You can only imagine where it's going to go from there, right? <laughs> what kind of shit that they're going to give out to their family members. Thank God I'm not one of them. Anyway, enough or enough talking for me. Why am I still talking? Let's get into the video. Save some space for my stock. Excuse me. I promise you, you go to new levels every oh man <laughs> that is outrageous i love that i oh, that's so funny i promise you you go to new levels every single year oh very festive the crazy thing is like that is just me at the moment <laughs> so we've just moved to london and oh my god it is expensive it is costs so much to live here and I currently don't have a job you know we're trying to find a job that's hard enough so this is pretty much us right now. <laughs> Maybe the next Extreme Cheapskates will be of me. That'll be the next one they do. Oh my goodness. Cheap. <laughs> she too cheap to get a real Christmas stocking. Are you look at it. Look how ridiculous that looks. Why does it not even just look like a normal sock? <laughs> don't socks usually have like bends in them? Why is that sock straight? I don't know why. That's not an important part of the video, but it's... It's kind of pissed me off. <laughs> Christmas means everything to me. Not only is it great to receive gifts, I love giving gifts. Most people plan to spend an average of $800 on gifts. What? $800? That... Who is most people? Hold on. Let me, let me make sure I heard that correctly, because that does not sound right. Most people plan to spend an average of $800 on gifts. That in itself is crazy. I am, guess I'm not most people. <laughs> $800. I don't even have $800. And it's almost Christmas season. What am I going to do? I'm going to be like this girl. <laughs> is that, you guys got to let me know. Is that actually, do most people spend $800? I don't think I've ever got anywhere close. I think the most I would have ever spent is between $200 to $300 max. And even that's pushing it. Maybe I am just a cheapskate. That, wow. Throughout the year, I take things from my family and they think that it's missing. Then on Christmas, I give it back to them as a gift. Hell no. Also, they surely they know of like surely they know that they're getting a gift. How am I? I don't even know what to say. Surely they know that what they're receiving from Sarah is something they already own. They would not fly with me. I'd say you are not getting your prison after this. I've just spent eight hundred dollars on gifts. You and you are not, and you're giving me something I already have or had before you stole it, and now you're giving it back. I got these nice shades that I got from Nisha throughout the year. She's gonna be so happy to get them back. Shiny's purse. She loved this purse, so I'm sure she's going to be so excited to see it appear back. That's actually annoyed me that, you know. <laughs> I'm not even one for like, I, I enjoy Christmas for the food now. <laughs> I've got it to the age where the gifts, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's whatever. But the food is the best, the most fun part. The food and the drinking. <laughs> that's Christmas to me. But receiving my own stuff that I already had, that's, that I, I'd be livid. I would be livid. We'd have to go outside and fight about it. I say that like I do that all the time. I'm a pussy. I don't, I'm a gentle giant. I don't fight. But Sarah doesn't only want to repurpose old gifts. She also wants to buy her family something new. To them. Okay, that sounds positive. The way he emphasized to them makes me question it a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It sounds positive. Girl, I found the perfect place. Are we going to the mall? It is a mall in sort of... Kinda. Voila! This is a joke. Okay, I see why he said to them now. I I get what he's saying. I mean, they all they do say one man's trash is another man's treasure, but not on Christmas. <laughs> Surely something new on Christmas. The spirit of Christmas is giving, and you don't need new presents to feel that. 
See, the thing is, you just don't come here and get anything. You have to find some quality items. Come on, girl. Now, I agree with Sarah there. You can find some good stuff at, like, uh... I don't know about a dump. Where are they? A dump. I don't know about a dump. But at, like, secondhand shops, you can find some good stuff. But not for Christmas. Ooh. Girl, alarm clock. It's amazing to me how people can throw good items out that are still usable. What is that? Uh... I don't know. It looked like table. yeah, that's what it looked like. Like a turntable for a DJ. It's just shit, isn't it? Really? <laughs> She's trying to make it sound good. It's just shit. It is stuff that nobody wants, really. So I wonder if they buy her all like expensive gifts as well. Because at that point, you got to feel like bad if you're the person who's giving shit gifts and they buy you very expensive things. And don't get me wrong, I'm not a believer in like the more money, the better present. You can definitely give stuff that's more meaningful that's cheap that's what she should be doing sound like i'm saying that just because i give shit gifts well yeah yes that's why <laughs> it's a foot, a foot please <laughs> okay you just had me touch it with somebody nasty feet i'm touching. sure it's clean grandma would love oh, no. this large nativity scenes can cost over 200 dollars, and sarah is hoping to create hers without spending a dime joseph Great. Being responsible for the nativity scene this year is a big deal to me. Sarah? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what a nativity scene is, but who put Sarah in charge, okay? I'm, she's old enough. Everybody knows what Sarah's like. Why are they putting her in charge of that? That is the family's fault at that point. What do we have here? Okay, so mm. I got Mary and Joseph. Found them around the house. Mm -hmm. um, I have my barn animals. Mm. I have my music trophies, mm. which are dear to me as my three wise men. You, I got. You're gonna have to explain that to everybody because nobody's gonna know what that represents. The three wise men brought Jesus gold and and, and treasure. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> She's trying to make it sound relevant. That's ridiculous. But as I said. That's on the family. That's their fault. They know what Sarah's like. Don't try to change her. <laughs> also, is it just my family? We keep the same, but we keep the same decorations for every year. We don't change them every year. So I feel like that's what they should do. At least that's what she Sarah should do. Just keep them so you can reuse them next year. That's what these trophies represent. Mm, it's not what I expected, but it's not as bad as I thought. Is that a compliment? It's not what I expected, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, she, oh, Sarah, even mum doesn't think that high of you. That, come on. She thought it was going to be worse than that. Then that, look at that. Wrapping paper may cost about 50 to to $100 for others, but it costs nothing for me. Where are you buying your wrap? Am I living in a whole new world here? That does not cost 50 to to $100. You can get some wrapping paper for $5. I could find some. It won't be great wrapping paper, but it'll do the job. End of the day, the wrapping paper is only to hide the prison, so it doesn't need to be amazing. I'm on Sierra's side. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you my secret on saving on my wrapping paper. You see this garbage bag? Every year, I load up a garbage bag with all the wrapping paper that we use, and I save it for the next year. I spend nothing on my wrapping paper. I don't hate that. I mean, it's a lot of effort. I couldn't be asked doing it, but I don't hate it. But to be fair, like, oh, you have to think a year ahead to do to save $5. Is it worth it? No. That means you have to get everybody to unwrap them neatly as well, which is never going to happen. With Sarah's reused gifts and wrapping paper, she spent only $20 on Christmas this year. Do you think it's Christmas? <laughs> I'm sorry. There's nothing to do with it, but but I wonder if it's uh, Christmas or not. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> All right, it's time for my gifts. Everybody's just like, oh. <laughs> Guess Christmas is over. <laughs> but the thing is, right, they all know what it's going to be like because they've lived with her for how long she's been alive. They know they're not going to get good gifts from her. And if we're being truly realistic, this is probably fake. Because why would they have a camera crew with them for Christmas? Come on. I have some great gifts that I've lined up to give back to my family this year. Nisha. You always make these announcements. Shawnee. Great. Let me see what my sister got me this year. Let's see. 
Get the boxes, little dirty. Sarah, you cannot be serious. I knew you were gonna love them. You were looking for them, right? Oh, she's not even hiding it. She's not even hiding the fact that it's there. She's just like, yeah, I'm giving you your stuff back. Nah, that's crazy. Are we gonna end with this video of the fight? Are the sisters gonna go have a big scrap? Like... <laughs> The gift that Sarah gave me when I opened it and realized that it was the glasses that I couldn't find from a year ago, I was a little shocked and a slight bit disappointed. And I brought those glasses. <laughs> yes, you bought those glasses. But to look on the bright side, who wouldn't want to find something that you lost over a year ago? You didn't lose it. Why do they keep, you didn't, she stole it from you. That would annoy me the most because it's like, I just bought something that I want to use and now I haven't been able to use it until a year later. She's probably bought new glasses because she thought she lost them. Why am I getting so heated right now? Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Let's try this. What is this? Are you serious? Hell no. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why, but that annoys me the most. Alarm clock. It looks like it's from the 1950s. That looks awful. <sighs> <laughs> I know you won't oversleep with that one. Mary. <laughs> I know you won't oversleep with that one. She's thinking about your sleep, man. Appreciate that. Just thinking about you and making sure you don't go late to work so you don't get fired, lose your job, and then have no money. And then you have to give gifts like Sarah does. So there you go. It all wraps around to a cycle. When I first opened Sarah's gift, I thought, like, this is going to be good. You know what I mean? But when I... Uh... Why? What made you think that that was going to be good? There is nothing about what... Why would you ever think that's going to be good? There's nothing that she's done to make you think that it's going to be good. That's crazy. That's your fault, Anthony. You f***ing idiot. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean, I didn't mean it. I was just, it was a joke. I'm just joking. I've been looking for this purse for three months. And now you found it. Now for grandma. Oh, that is huge. Yeah. yeah. It's the ultimate foot massager. Rest your feet on here, plug it up, and get a good old foot massage. How many feet been on that? Honestly, I don't think there's the worst present in the world for, for grandma. I feel like grandmas would love a foot massager. The fact that a second hand is a bit is a bit dusty, I'm not gonna lie. Like a second hand foot massager, it almost feels like buying second hand undies or something. It's like, I thought I wear undies. What do you, break boxes? I don't know what you call them, but anyway. <laughs> this Christmas convinced me that Sarah Probably would never change. This is it. Oh, oh grandma's loving it. <laughs> grandma's like, hell yeah. Massage my feet. Oh, now what y'all got to say? Uh, is that it? So, sorry, I paused it on the wrong time. This, this grandma's feet are on there. I mean, the wrong time for you guys. The right time for me, if you know. <laughs> but that foot massager looks shit. That looks awful. It's just two circles spinning like this one. Pretty average. You did a good job. I love my foot massager. It come from her heart. No, it come from the dump. Not her heart, unfortunately. But grandma loves it. Grandma's always loved the grandkids. So uh, no matter what Sierra gave her, she would have loved it. She cleaned it up real good. <laughs> oh, yeah. The spirit of Christmas is giving, and you don't need to spend money to feel that. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Let me know uh, what's the cheapest gift you guys have ever received in the comments below. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you like and subscribe. And most importantly, make sure you guys have an amazing day. I will see you in the next one. Peace.